in this problem, we have a table and it shows the relationship between x and y. So there's no story here, but very straightforward. We have x's right here and then y's right here. And for every x, we have two, three, excuse me, goes up three, goes up one, goes up three. It looks like it's a rotating pattern, so be careful. We'll get to that in a moment. And for y, it goes up by three, by one, and by three. So what's going on right here? What I would do is rewrite the table. So we have an x and a y, and I want to figure out, well, what happens at zero? And then what happens every time x goes up by one? So I'm going to go up one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I think that'll give me enough. So we know that at two, y is six. So I'm going to mark that right here. At two, y is six. And we know at five, y is nine. And I think from there we have enough information. Oh, excuse me, at six we have 10, now we have enough. So notice when x went up once, y also went up once. And when x went up three times from two to five, y went up three times. So in other words, every time x goes up once, y goes up once. So when x goes from two to three, y goes from six to seven, and then eight, and so forth. And I can keep going with this pattern. So at zero, y is four. So when we start off, we start with four. And then we increase by a rate of one. So which one of these equations will do that? That's right here, choice C. Y equals x plus four. That means one times x plus four. Whenever you see x, that's implying one times x. The idea is that one, when you're multiplying, doesn't change the value of x, so why even bother to write it? And you can check this by plugging in. And in fact, what I would do if I was totally stuck on this equation and I couldn't figure out which equation to write, I can go through these choices by plugging in. So first we have y equals 3x. How can I check if that works? Well, I would check a number like 4 and plug it in for x and see if the equation gives me what I need, which is 8. So if I plug in 4, I get y equals 3 times x. If x is 4, that's 3 times 4, which equals 12. And that's not what we need. We need to get 8. So a does not work. x equals 3 times y. Well, if we have 8 for y, we plug y in, we should get 4 for x. So if I plug in 8, I get 3 times 8, which is 24, but I need to get 4. So b does not work. C will work because if I plug 4 in, I get 4 plus 4 and y is 8. And D won't work because if I plug y in for 8, I should get 4. Let's try it. 8 plus 4, that's 12. I should be getting 4. That does not work either. C is the answer.